Yes, welcome back to session 12, where we look at computer ethics. Ethics is a set of moral principles that govern the behavior of a group or an individual. Therefore, computer ethics is a set of moral principles that regulate the use of computers. Some common issues of computer ethics include intellectual property rights, privacy concerns, and how computers affect society. As technology advances, computer continues to have a greater impact on society. Therefore, computer ethics promotes the discussion of how much influence computer should have in this area, such as artificial intelligence and human communication. As the world of computers evolves, computer ethics continues to create ethical standards that address new issues coming out as a result of new technologies. This session seeks to explain the concept of computer ethics and the historical overview of computer ethics. At the end of this session, you'll be able to identify some of the elements of computer ethics, the overview and the general concept of computer ethics. Now let's look at the concept of computer ethics. The term ethics is the study of moral standards and how they affect conduct. There is no iota of doubt that for any system to achieve its aim in an organized form, it idly needs to be regarded by its don'ts and do's or better still, do's and don'ts. Ethics is not left out when dealing with computers. Computer ethics is part of the practical philosophy we concerns with how computer professionals should make decisions regarding professional and social conduct. Computer ethics is a new branch of ethics that is growing and changing rapidly as computer technology also grows and develops. Computer ethics in the broader sense can be understood as that branch of applied ethics, which studies and analyzes such social and ethical impact of information technology. In recent years, this robot new field has led to new university courses, conferences, workshops, professional organization, curriculum materials, books, articles, journals, and research centers. And in the age of the www, that is the web, World Wide Web, computer ethics is quickly being transformed into global information ethics. Computer ethics is a part of practical philosophy which concerns with how competing professionals should make decisions regarding professional and social conduct. Now, the historical view of computer ethics. Computer ethics has gone through different phases and different periods. From 1940 to 1950, Norbert started the issue of computer ethics and wrote books. And as a result of that innovation and research, came out with what we call the cybernetics trying the study around the information system ethics, cybernetics. And Norbert was so key in his book within the 1940 to 1950. In the era of 1960s, Don Parker also came in to entrench the position of Norbert and also contributed his quota in different ways and formats. He came in with another book, and was also trying to con information ethics and computer ethics in different perspective. In the 1990s, Joseph also Winsebank also came in with his own dimension to computer ethics. And by the mid of 1970, 
Walter Manor also tried to shape in the information ethics and computer ethics to what we currently have. In the 80s, James Moore also brought in his own perspective, trying to introduce different dimensions to information ethics and computer ethics. And around the 90s up to now, we have the manner and then the bin mom also trying to put it in perspective. And with the overview, we are still counting and we have history to computer ethics. Now, let's, in all these historical incidents, there is one key element that is repetitive in all these periods. And that is the professional use of computers. The professional use of computers. Now, let's look at some of the commandments of computer ethics. And basically, we have 10 commandments of computer ethics. This came out as a result of the dispensation and as a result of the periods under review. One, the first commandment says that do not use a computer to harm other people. So it means that if you are using the computer ethically, you will not cause harm to your neighbor. You will not cause harm to anyone relating or in society. The second one says that do not interfere with other people's computer work. So if the work is not yours, do not interfere with them. Some of us are in the habit of picking our friends' devices, laptops, iPad, tablet, even trying to look through and you know playing with their assignments, work, what have you. Do not scoop around in other people's computer files. And these are all on ethical issues. You should not even use a computer to steal. Don't, this is what we have talked earlier on about computer crime. Don't use the computer to steal and don't, don't even steal from the computer in all the aspects. Do not use the computer to bear false witness. Some of us, we use Photoshop to draw and, you know, take people, take their heads and then use other, you know, features to, you know, spice it. We are not using computer ethically. We need to refrain from all this. Do not copy or use proprietary software for which you have not paid for. We need to pay for all the software we use. Of course, most of us have friends who can easily install software for them, but we need to do the right thing. And we do appreciate other people's intellectual outputs. If there's a need to pay for it, pay for it. If there's a need to acknowledge, acknowledge and don't take it and use without acknowledgement or without compensation. Do think about the social consequences of the program you are writing or the system you are designing. Whatever computer piece you come out with, think about the social impact. It shouldn't be something that will affect society, but it should be something that will help society to bring good to society. And do always use a computer in ways that ensure consideration and respect for your fellow humans and after you obey all these commandments i'm sure you have a good environment computer environment to live in let's observe the ethics and live accordingly this is where we end the computer ethics class and i will be back soon with the next session thank you very much but again make sure you visit the links provided and go to the Sakai platform. All the resources available are for you. Read and let's continue in our next session. Thank you.